Somebody through this door. Be ready. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, it looks like we've got a break in the case. Let me see if I can find this meeting room. And discuss what's been discovered. Oh, here we are. This won't take long. This doesn't look good. Are you gonna fire me or something? While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. What? Unfortunately, some didn't survive. What? Is there anything we could have done? Not really, no. We can't be everywhere at once. Right now, our best hope to stop them is you. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I'll kill every last one of the first. Yeah, well, you might have to. How's your investigation proceeding? Well... It's going well once Alex cracks their encryption. We can learn a lot. That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. How can you be so critical when you have done nothing to help? This is whoa, Freestar whoa. Ranger business. I'll thank you to stay out of it. Let's move on. I asked the other Rangers to share their opinions of you. And there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Well, causing friction with the council doesn't help anyone. Exactly. Dealing with a council can be tough, but it comes with a badge. No need to make it harder than it already is. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. I just traded a favor for a favor. You played the hand you had. It was a sensible and practical trade. Just make sure any favors you trade in the future don't require you to step outside the law. You got results and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. It was the best option I had at the time. Putting the lives of others ahead of our own comes with the job. I'm sure it was a tough call, but I think it was the right one. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It came to violence. You can guess how it ended. Too bad. I was really hoping he'd cooperate. Guess the threat of going back to prison was just too much for him. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. Well, she didn't have much time left. She's very ill. So she wanted to end things on her own terms. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? 
That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. What do you know about this mech factory? Never saw it myself, but I know it's a large facility, mostly underground. If the first are occupying it, they'll probably have set up defensive positions throughout the complex. All right, I'll go and check it out. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. If I seem strict, it's because I'm protecting the integrity of the Freestar Rangers. If you have the time, I wish to speak to you. Uh, yes, Andresia. Excuse us. Good hunting. Thank you. Yes, what is it? I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under, um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? Um... Well, with the powers, the artifacts, our lives now in danger from the Starborn, I'm starting to think I should have kept my day job. You would prefer mining to this? It must be far more exciting than I have been led to believe. You have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? Well, if you're asking, I assume you don't feel like it. No, I do not. But I find it hard to quantify. Many of the other members are polite, but distant. I worry that my background and my actions concern them. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. Well, you might not be a stranger. I thought you were a cold-blooded killer, but you're turning out to be something else. And that's, uh, unfortunate. Because I'm a soldier, and I kill when it's needed. So accepting the unfamiliar can be hard for people. I know. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Hmm. Oh, you're not that bad. Trust me, you have a lot going for you. Uh, that is kind of you. You also have a lot g going. I, I am... I, I find expressing affection difficult, but... Um, but truly. Thank you. I know this seems trivial. Uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this. By a group I... I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? Well... You should really stop worrying about this. I think you fit in just fine, to be honest with you. Because you have those high morals, even though you have a, a checkered past. You still don't like killing it. It still upsets you. And when you see me do it, I can see that look on your face. So you're in the right place. Really, stop worrying. Yes, perhaps I should. They have taken me in, after all. Discussing 
these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. Yeah, well, it wasn't a big deal. It would have been, to some. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. I don't know if I understand you. I mean, that black garb and everything, I thought you were some sort of assassin. But I see that I'm wrong. Come on, let's go. Good to be back in our own ship. All right, everyone, to your action stations. We have our orders. We're headed for Arcturus. Prepare for liftoff. Barrett here, one more time. Thank you. Orbital insertion done. Time to dance among the stars. All right, thank you, Barrett. All right, plotting the course for Arcturus. I'm bringing the grab drive online. And the jump in two, one, jump. And in one instant, the stars are rearranged. We are what is this? Here we are in a fight already.
sight is clear. Let's head down. I thought the Space Needle was a, a tough little ship. I don't think there was, well, we, we got close a few times, but wow. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? I'm good. All right, let me take a quick nap. I hope you are sufficiently rested. Who knows what this day will bring? What's new? All right, let me put on a space suit. I have no idea. It would really be nice if we could get some sort of atmospheric readings before we left the ship. Every world with living things is a treasure. Okay, so. Looks like I don't need a space for this. Leave it to humans to find inventive new ways to kill. Uh oh, look out! Once they realize these mechs were a step too far. There's more. Whoever laid claim to this place seems to be long gone. All right. More than one way to skin a cat. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Okay, come on, let's go. I'm a man of action. I've got no use for lies. So when I tell you that you're being manipulated, you know I'm telling the truth. You think the Council of Governors really cares about anything but themselves? They're corrupt. You're a tool in the hands of the unworthy, just like Someone I there? once was. I was loyal. I followed orders, and I led good men and women to their deaths. I'll carry the stain of that dishonor to my grave. Mm, I should have known. 
Should have sold off my stuff here. Fine, as long as I don't pick up another piece of equipment. bullets. I need 
need to get down there. Anything of value? Yes. Ah! Mm. Well, there's still somebody alive back there, but I suppose we'll let them live. Somebody through this door. Be ready.
Yeah, I did. One down. Just here. A victory. Hopefully, they amount to something. Well, that's not all of them.
right, I think it's only about three left. Are you prepared to die? Imagine the Free Star Collective was still producing Max right up until the last minute. Devastating the war was, how determined both sides were to claim victory. Thought we could thinned out all these soldiers. He's up top there. Is it not? Now we need to get this. 
this other dude here. Do you see a, a way? Still not all. Still alive. Hmm. I, I can't believe it. You just took on some of the best mercenaries in the Freestar Collective and cut right through them. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag in New Atlantis. The war ended a long time ago. Not the way it should have. Of course, I can't expect you to understand what we sacrificed, what we lost. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watch brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless. But spineless leaders gave up on us, even when victory was within our grasp. Do not assume you know what others have or have not experienced. And none of it gives you the right to take innocent lives. You don't know me. So don't preach to me about what I do or don't have the right to do. All right, no more stalling. You're going to tell me everything. You really want to know? Yes. Because you might not like the answer. I keep hearing that. Last chance, deputy. You can walk away right now and remain blissfully ignorant, thinking you fight for a noble cause. But if you still want the truth, <laughs> I'll shatter that illusion for you right now. Quit stalling. I won't ask again. <clears throat> you won't have to. Not long after I started the first, I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. <clears throat> I refused to work for a shadow client, so he agreed to set up a meeting. Imagine my surprise when Ron Hope showed up. He offered me a lucrative contract to take possession of certain farms throughout Freestar space. What was so special about those farms? <clears throat> All I know is that after we cleared the place out, Hope was sending in some kind of machinery. Our job was to make sure nobody saw the operation. How does the stolen Hope Tech ship tie into all this? To keep the Rangers off the Sen. 
Hope wanted to hit a lot of places quickly and finish whatever he was doing before word spread. We needed another ship to meet his timetable. So he gave us the intel necessary to steal one from his factory. It also let him play the victim and keep suspicion to a minimum. And you saw a chance to get revenge on the Freestar Collective. The credits were good, but yeah, getting some payback was the real reward. Well, you know, this would be my first reaction, but I have a squeamish partner over here. I'm bringing you in. Don't bother. Be ready for another fight. I'm gonna make this easy for See, you, deputy. You like that. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon really? in hand. No compromise, no fear. But first, here, take this. Use it to cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. When the next war comes, <laughs> and it will come, the Collective needs to be strong. Now my unit's waiting for me, and I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Goodbye, Deputy. Oh! That's my gun. Forgot who you're dealing with was that? I thought that was a bomb. Okay. Take what you must. Elevator the rest exit key. scavengers. Here's a first mercenary outfit. Drop this maroon spacesuit. What are we done here? Somebody, oh, it's a turret. Thank you, finally, a med pack. Take a moment. What was that you're saying? Take a moment. This is your captain speaking. Action stations, we're lifting off. Ship's good. Welcome, welcome, let's go.
All right, it's time for us to confront Ron Hope. <laughs>